what? I'm invading your YouTube again. I'm back. So I'm in my studio and I have a, a long-awaited box that has arrived. Um, I purchased stuff from Birch Creative, um, which comes from Australia, then goes to Auckland, then comes to me. And guess what? <gasps> I've got it and I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this. Um, I got a little prezi in here for mum. But I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you all the nicky nackies I've got. Um, so literally, hot off the press, the courier has just popped in and delivered it. And I'm meant to be taking Samuel for a driving lesson. And I have not avoided it because... Oh, okay, I think I've got the cello tape. The sticky tape, mate. Got the sticky tape cracked open. Right. Right. I'm going to spin it a little bit. Excuse. Look at that. Look at that mess. That mess is... Um, do you like these glasses? These are a little bit different to what I normally wear. These are rimless. Rimless to... Uh, oh. Show my eyes. I don't know. I just thought... Look. It made me look. Look at me looking at myself. They make my eyes look like there's nothing around them. When I tried them on, I said to the girl, Oh, it's like I've got contacts on the outside. Yeah, you stick contacts on the inside. Okay, so, um, cardboard. I did get some fabric. It was a tiny stash. Because it had flamingos on it. And I will make something. Oh, that's quite cute, eh? That's cute. Right, what have I got? I've got this for mum. She doesn't have a curved ruler. And I. she did say to me, I've lived this long without having one. I think I can live longer. And my mum does not sound like that, but just... Well, I might give her mine. This one looks a little bit better. <laughs> it has little holes in it. Bonus grading it. No, so giving her my old one. Love you, mum. Okay, so I um, made some booties that match my lounge pants. And um, the only thing when you make booties, you have to have something that grips the floor. If you don't grip the floor, you could end up AOT. Okay, and for those that don't know what that means, I am so not going to elaborate that with you. Oh, Mr. Christopher's home. Obviously, he's been hard at work today. Today, and it is oh, 1.36, obviously. 10 days off and half a day. So I bought these... Okay, so they are um, non-slip fabric with grip. Non-slip fabric with grip. And when you buy it wholesale, you have to actually buy it. Um, you have to buy it in a, a, in a in a group in a in a, in a yeah. And oh, I've got one of them. Now I've got one of these. that I've had for years see see this one I've had it for years and mum kept saying she needed one of the humper jumper things so when you you know so over thickness of seam he's going to poke his head in no he's not um humper jumper seams and I had one of them and I was like oh my gosh and it comes with a pointer as well which I like the idea of and so I'll be giving mummy mummy listen to me I never call her mummy I'll be giving mummy one of these so I'm going to give her one of those she doesn't have a humpy jumpy. I bought one last time I, I ordered off Birch. And um, more lumps of cardboard. I think that's why it's $25 delivery. Right. Now, Adam from Adam So, better be proud of me because I have bought. I have bought. Oh, shivers. Where is it? <laughs> Catch your caddy. Okay, so um, mum and I have been talking about this for ages. And we love what Adam produces. And, and no way could we even produce half as gorgeous as what he does, especially with his beautiful fabrics as well. But I keep seeing everyone making one. And now I want to make one. FOMO nut. So I got the catch all caddy, and then I also got in control. Now I don't know how much different in control is to the catch all caddy. 
but I want um big. I like big. Size matters. I'm sorry, size matters. I don't don't let anyone tell you that size does not matter. And then I got the duffel bag. I've got some beautiful um, fabrics that I want to make a big bag with that you can see the pattern um, around the corner. Don't think you've been there yet. Don't think you've been there yet. I have to, got to look at that. And then Adam mentioned the day and night, and he was saying how surprised he was at how gorgeous that was when he made it up. So um, while I was online, I purchased that one as well. And, oh, hang on, what is this one? <laughs> Why not, right? Pack it in two. Yeah, so I've got those ones. So I'll be able to talk about those a bit later. And, of course, when you make half of um, Made by Eddie stuff, she likes to have mesh. So I bought some mesh fabric. Aqua, love the aqua. Yellow, because why not? And red. And I think I've already got, like, a silver and... Maybe an orange. I don't know. I'll put it in Chris's um, bag thing. Um, I've got ooh, three of these little magnet things. I'm going to actually give one of these to mum because she was looking for some of these too as well. So another gifty for mum. So I popped that in the ooh, shivers of lost mum's gift pile. That can go there. And another two because she had to buy three. Then I bought some... Um, Kai scissors. Anyone out there use Kai scissors? I've got some Kai scissors and I like little ones that are nice and sharp. Now, Kai is a nice sharp scissor. I've got a yellow handled pair that I um, bought from Thimbles and Threads, which is like a craft shop in Upper Hutt where I reside. And um, I bought them years ago. And I follow a YouTuber, and, um, and well, she's not actually just a YouTuber, Angela Wolf, and she swears by Kai Scissors. So I, um, one second, my Samuel is in the room. You don't want me? I've just seen. You're just seeing me do this, so you could laugh at me later? No, because I wanted to see how you're doing your Oh, so, um, so these are my ones, and they, are, I love them. They are just so good for nipping out the little, um, to cutting out your little triangles and oh brilliant brilliant just like little suckers and so i bought these kind of scissors and these ones are four and a half millimeters or 115 millimeters so this is the smallest ones and then i got the next size up which are almost similar to the yellow ones and Oh, I knew I had another pair. So six and a half. Oh, scissors are good. I like scissors. I didn't, I'm not 100% sure you can have enough scissors. Especially when I just get up and walk away with the scissors that I'm meant to be leaving beside the machine. I need to tie them things on. Then I bought some more of these. Oh, these are different from my ones. Okay, so I bought some of these. Now, anyone know what that is? Okay, it's written on it. It's a bobbin ring. Okay, um, I have standby cooler. This many, um, these are round, um, this many for um, my commercial machine. So, um, and I'm kind of running out of room. So I bought myself some more, and again, you had to buy three, so I've got three of them. Oh, I have a... Um, a sore neck from looking down hand sewing, but oh, purple mesh. You don't expect to see big things from me now, aren't you, Adam? <sighs> right, what else have I got? Um, oh, embroidery needles. You have to buy a pack of a million, pack of ten. So, I, I needles man i lose them in the carpet in the couch in chris's foot when he rubs his foot on the carpet <sighs> wild story so when we built the studio down here um this used to be um a double garage and i've got two thirds of it no i've got three quarters of it the other half became our front door and um yeah, entryway darling 
into the foyer. That's right, they were bad scissors. They were just came out three dollar scissors. Anyway, um, downstairs where my studio used to be before I became a um, work from home girl, and I was in the military doing it. Um, I had carpet downstairs, and Chris would come in and he would, oh yeah, he just walk and his size eleven feet would. Um, his size 11 feet would catch the pins. I didn't need a magnet. I had his feet. And when I woke up one day, we were, we were still designing this in our heads. Our builder ended up breaking something and he couldn't do it. And we ended up having to build it. And um, he, um, I woke up and said, I don't want carpet. I want, I want, he goes, what do you want? I said, I want the floor palings that you tap, 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 tap down. So he goes, okay. And that has saved his feet, to be fair. Okay. To be fair. Who was that that commented and said to be fair? Yeah, I know. I use it. That's my that's my go-to saying. Everyone has one. You'll find when you watch someone, whether it's your teacher, whether it's somebody, everyone has it. And to be fair is mine. To be fair. Okay, I got myself some um, because I do use my domestic machines. I got myself some domestic needles. I've got industrial needles up the wahoo. And I got some Microflex, Microtex. Okay, I'll read them properly. I've even got my glasses on and I can't even read that properly. So I got one, two, again, you know, the, and so the, so buying wholesale, you, you tend to um, have to buy things. You can't buy one off um, unless it's a certain price. So I got some of those. Got some of those. And I buy this every time I put an order in every time because and I think that's a clover it's double sided tape every time I mean but making bags eh Adam do you use it when you make bags do you sit down on handles and you stick it down um I I do especially if I'm making like vinyl on my um hand on my handles my straps my strappy straps and the other thing I thought was a bit ditty and I had to buy again more god the bag looks like it's Looks like nobody's been buying these. I'm the only one buying this, this, these things. And this is a um, hem clips. Come in a set of, I want to say six. I'll say six. I could be wrong. <laughs> set of six right there. Quantity six. So you go around and you put it up your hem. You fold your hem up and it measures it at the same time. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. So I got some of those. Now, now the big the big gifty I got for my mum. And I, I'll do it this I'll give it to her before um before I put this on because you guys would just you would contact her and let her know that you know, the fact she sees my vlogs almost in, instantaneously. Oh that's right, I'm giving her that. I'm giving her that and I'm gonna give her My mum talked about these, um, I want to say three, maybe three weeks ago. And um, she was talking how she wants to try to make it easier for her not to lift the fabrics, rudder, rudder, rudder. And um, I thought that'd be longer. But I've got myself some. And I bought her a pair as well. How cool am I? Am I the best daughter in the world or what? Oh, yeah, there's a few of you out there probably thinking your daughters are. But I'm pretty cool if I don't say so myself. So, um, yeah, I got myself some too. Should we open them up? Oh, we need scissors to open the scissors. That's like a conundrum, isn't it? Seriously, we need scissors to open the scissors. I need the scissors. Oh, no, I got it. Got it. Got it sorted. Right. And that's meant to just... Hmm. There you go. So I got me some of them and I got me mum some of them. Now, like I said, I'm going to be horrible to my mum and give her my old one. I actually use this a lot. So 
So I'll give her mine. This has got holes down here, which I think be good. Grading, bonus ruler. Alter your patterns for personal fit. Isn't that why we sew? Right, I think that is um, quite the exciting haul. I've got the, I've got to pay for it now. <laughs> so that's all good. Um, oh, that's right. I might give mum some embroidery needles too. They might be too small for her fingers. I've got not delicate hands, but I've got smaller hands than mum. My mum got my grand pop's hands. So there you go. What do you think of my little haul? I'm a little bit impressed with my haul. I um, have been very patiently waiting. But I have been patiently waiting. This was, this was like a last minute thing. Let's have a look at them, eh? I like how they're all folded into this little ringy thing. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. So, and I just love Flamingo. So it was called Flamingo Heaven. So there's that one. Pretty pretty. And this one goes with that one. Pretty pretty. And then, of course, this one's super pretty. Oh, more flamingos. And um, how does that match that group? How? How does that? How is lemons matching the flamingos? I can understand that pink, yeah. I can understand that, yeah. Definitely understand that because that's why. But what? Why? I don't know. I do not know the answer to that question. So there you go. So I have got that um, smallest fabric haul in the world, and I'm just pretty chuffed. I now want to go over to my mum's and give her her scissors. We had a very fun day today. I've already been over there. My brother has gone into the shed and had a look at um, Dad's shed because dad was a builder and dad is um was a very very handy handy man to have around um so very much like um mr christopher um how do i put it back in there it's like a g-string for fat quartz fat quartz fat quarters i don't know pre-wash it Okay, so that's my haul, that's my stash. I am so stoked to get this. I am going to open it up and I'm going to have a look at it. And then I'm going to cry and then I'll probably ask Adam for assistance in it. I'm not going to say it'll be straightforward because I do, um, I'm not a quilter, but I have made quilted stuff before. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh, let me just say what see what I'm wearing. I am wearing a top that I made for a client, it's not her top, I designed a top for her, and um, I call it the Shavi because that's her name, and it's actually just it's just made out of chiffon and it's exactly how she wanted it long, kind of skirty, kind of dress. Thing and 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 guess what I'm wearing? I'm wearing my brown pants. I'll put you on the ground. My brown. Oops. You know how I was gonna do some embroidery? I just did that around the fly. It's three colours. So there's my pants. Um, Chris took me some took some photos of me wearing them yesterday. So oh, have my back to you. Chris took some photos of me wearing them yesterday. So I will actually post those. A different top I'm wearing with them, but I think I'm wearing my leopard top. You know, I think I'm wearing my leopard top. Anyway, I better go. People are coming in. <laughs> he wants to get part of the action again, so he just did a big wave. And it's not facing him. And I'm going to go. Thank you very much for watching me unbox my haul. And I'm going to go see my mother. I think I actually have to take Samuel for driving lessons first. Because Chris has to go and check out the water. Fat mums. Anyway, thank you. I want you to stay safe. I want you to stay warm. I want you to stay dry. And I want you to be cool. And I want you to marvel over my my unboxing of, of yummy, yummy stuff. And um, keep cool. Keep sewing. Be awesome because you all are. 
thanks for sending me um messages i love getting them love responding and um yeah thanks it's awesome see you later bye